I'd like to wish you a very happy Christmas and all the best for the new year. At the beginning of 2013, we launched our new strategy, which centres on a bold vision, a world in which no child will ever suffer the consequences of institutional care. We've progressed our work with this strategy during the course of the year and we've been able to do that because of your support. Thank you. We've had some spectacular successes this year, including bringing the President of Ukraine to our centre in Makariv to explore the, what we do with children and how we're able to get them back into families and out of these soulless institutions. Consequently, the President gave a directive for the whole country to make the transition to alternative family-based care on the back of his visit to our work. In Rwanda, we're progressing the deinstitutionalization of the entire care system and making the transition to family-based care. We're working with the largest institutional care facility, Noel de Nyondo, where we're already beginning to get children into families where they're enjoying the love and care that they deserve. And on the back of demonstrating the possibility of providing alternative family-based care for these children, the whole system in Rwanda is beginning to change. This is a flagship project for us and bodes well for our work right across Africa. In Sudan, for example, we've now established the first mother and baby unit in a situation which is very challenging. And this has been particularly successful in ensuring children from birth enjoy the love and care that they deserve. One of our most recent successes has been to persuade the European Parliament to vote deinstitutionalisation of childcare as a budgetary priority for the next seven year budgetary cycle. This is from a pot of 325 billion euros and deinstitutionalisation of childcare has now been put within the top issues on that agenda. This has a great implication for our work globally because the EU is one of the biggest funders of international development and aid globally. And so we're hoping to take the opportunity to ensure that funds will become available to help countries beyond Europe to make the transition to alternative family-based care. I've had the chance to visit our work recently and meet with children and their carers, their parents, their families and communities. And I can tell you that your support is helping to transform their lives, give them hope and ensure that their families stay together. I'd like to say a huge thank you to you for your support and I hope you will continue to be with us on our journey to eradicate institutional care of children globally. Thank you.